Reverend Ruga Tonya from Counseling Department. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you at this moment, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your name, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given us, Lord, to continue supporting our viewers with the issues concerning the COVID-19. We worship you, Lord, and we call you, Lord, to guide us. We are praying this, believing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, viewers. Uh, we continue with the psychological response to COVID-19. This time, we will be looking at children of different ages. Right now, I will be handling children aged between 4 to 10 years. This pandemic has changed everyday life for everyone, including our children. They no longer have freedom to have holidays or to join their friends, their relatives, as they have done during other holidays. Instead, our children are struggling with the adjustment of their confinement, worrying about their safety and that of loved ones. They are also at risk of developing mental health problems during this period. We need to come up with structures to assist our children to go through this period positively. We'll start by having a plan as a family. Having a plan as a family helps identify all activities to be carried out and find a way to get them done. You could look at the activities like daily activities, weekly activities, or even monthly activities. A plan in the family allows everyone to be on the same page. It also helps families to manage time and resources together. Parents should sit down with children and come up with a plan that will include everyone. After that, come up with a routine. Children do well with routines. A routine is like a timetable that covers all what will be done from morning till evening. Something like, yes, in the morning you have woken up, after taking breakfast, what other activity will follow? Is it time to do the household uh, chores? Is it time uh, to now do homework? Is it you move from there, you check, is it now time to go out and play? You come back, is it screen time that they will watch TV? Is it lunch time? Structure according to the activities you have and also according to the age of the children you have. Not forgetting, you're also including yourself there because majority of you are working from home. A routine helps children adjust the balance. A routine helps children understand the balance between enjoyable activities such as play and functional activities like bathing, brushing teeth, and not forgetting washing hands. A routine reduces stress. Children are able to know what to do at a particular time and what to expect. A routine creates a secure, loving environment. Hence, it should be flexible to allow adjustment where possible or where necessary. At this uh, time, we really need to look at our children's uh, spiritual growth. We can involve our children doing uh, a bit of Bible studies, but very short very, very short. We can also uh, let bring in the programs in the TV that will nurture the spiritual growth of our children. Uh, we also check on ac academic activities or schoolwork. Learning doesn't have to stop when school closes. Though, as parents, we need to understand why learning needs to continue at home. What is the importance of homework? Homework helps to homework helps children to, to work independently. It encourages children to take initiatives. It also allows parents to have an active role in their children's education and help them evaluate their children's progress among other reasons. With, with this understanding, we need to provide a good, relaxing learning environment at home for our children. 
During this period, some children could be having homework, others are receiving it through online. We also have government programs on radio and television. We call upon parents where possible to work with teachers. We need to approach all learning with care. We do not end up overburdening our children and give them stress instead of helping them. We also have other activities. Apart from working, apart from schoolwork, let children be involved in household activities, depending on their age. Children should also be given enough time to play. We say play is children's work. Children are able to come up with their own play. They only need time, space, and materials to play with. Try as much as possible to be involved in your children's fun activity to strengthen your family bond. Do not forget to nurture your children's talents at this uh, moment. Discipline and limits. We need to continue monitoring our children's behavior, ensure they do the right things. Limit needs to be to be set, especially on watching TV. It is the easiest way of keeping children occupied. But remember the negative effects of watching too much television. Balance between screen time and other activities. Monitor what your children are watching. Remember during this period, a lot is about COVID-19 pandemic and children might not be able to process all the information positively. The following are signs that might indicate your child is undergoing or experiencing stress. A child may return to behavior they had outgrown. Example, bed wetting, toileting accidents, nail biting. A child may be frightened about being separated from parents. A child may might also have tantrums or have a hard time sleeping. Older children may feel sad or afraid. They may also want to talk about the pandemic all the time or not to, want to hear about it at all. A child may have trouble concentrating with activities he or she used to do with ease. Some children may also become aggressive. Now at this point, what should we do? We as parents, once we notice all those signs, we need to be calm and reassure our children. Number two, talk to children about what is happening in a way they can understand. Keep it simple and appropriate for each child's age and be genuine. Provide children with opportunities to talk about what they think is happening. Listen to their feelings, thoughts, and fears. In case you would like help to handle your child, please seek counseling services. Finally, as a parent, how you handle your plans, routine, and work, and how you manage your stress, through healthy practices is critical to how you will handle your children. When you are well prepared, relaxed, you can respond better to events and make decisions in the best interest of your family and loved ones. We also continue trusting in our Lord. Thank you. God bless you. But I love the fact that before we get to the point of uncommon excellence, there is a resolve. There is a resolve to choose that no matter what happens, in the, in the crisis we are in, in the world, in our country, no matter what happens, that we will become men and women, young, old, middle-aged, and every one of us, even as children, we will become people that will show the excellence of God in us.